Hello, Taurus. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another January reading where whatever comes through will be what I will, those are the messages I will relay, okay? So these messages will be for Taurus placement, Taurus, uh, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, or any other Taurus placement that will resonate for you in a reading, okay? Um, let's see what comes through for you, Taurus, um, with the oracles, and I will take it from there to see what sort of, what tone is being set, what's the energy, what does Taurus need to know? What messages are strongly needing to come through for Taurus on any area of their life, any topic? Thank you so much. Mystery Aquarius just had this. So you could be the person that Aquarius needs to make something right with. But look, mystery, let's see if it's different for you guys, what is coming through. Um, let's see. I want to try this first. What is coming through for Taurus? What message do we have for Taurus? Thank you, the sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. You are dealing with someone who struggles with control issues. Okay. And a part of those control issues is they don't let themselves flow emotionally. So when they start to feel a certain way, emotional, um, they actually like pull back. They make it really difficult for you to communicate with them. They kind of stiffen up and harden up in a sense that it, it, it creates tension between you. They don't like expressing themselves. This doesn't even have to be a lover, but this could be someone that you're trying to have a healthy relationship with. And this person is just so hard to get through to. But let's see what else comes through, um, for Taurus. Thank you. You are loved. You are here for a reason. Don't F it up. There's your message. You are loved. So a lot of people love you, but it feels like this one person in particular who doesn't show their love the way that you wish they would. They love you. Okay. Um, and so I feel like the strongest message coming through for you, Taurus, in your life right now is that you're uncertain about someone's true character because they give you mixed messages. Um, one minute they're showing you this angel side of them and it's, it's why you love them. And then there's another time where they're showing you this complete villain and somebody who is hurtful. Um, and again, this can be any type of relationship in your life, a friend a family member, a lover, but this is someone who it feels makes it difficult for you to want to stay in their life because they are difficult to communicate with. Um, it's hard realizing what their truth is. They don't feel like they're being themselves sometimes. They don't feel like they're saying what they want to say, what they really need to get through. And that makes it harder for you to try to figure them out. So clarity and truth tell me that I feel like a lot of you are starting to see that someone you're connected to may be an air sign, right? Someone you're connected to is difficult, um, has difficulties. They're triggered by emotions. They're triggered by love. I feel like this is a special message coming through from the person. This could be saying, I love you. You are loved by me. I don't know how to show it. I don't know how to say it. I'm not great at communicating this, expressing this, making this happen, but I do love you. Okay. I'm, I'm picking up. It's a father for someone. A very strict, stern father who doesn't say they love you, who doesn't say they're proud of you. Yep, I saw the king of pentacles and the king of swords. So for some of you, it's a father. For others of you, it will be a romantic partner who you have, um, who you may be separated from because of their inability to communicate in a healthy way how they feel. It feels like a masculine energy, but I will say if someone... whose softer side was threatened when they were younger. And so that is a side now that they protect with hardness and sometimes coldness. Let's see what comes through with the tarot. But you are loved. All right, Taurus. Um, princess of Wands. Okay. Yeah. You know, the, the child energy, the childhood trauma. You are dealing with somebody who has a lot of childhood trauma expressing themselves was off limits even for you as a kid expressing yourself maybe was off limits if you had an overly critical stern sort of authority figure in your life somebody has not been able to be free and so that inner child is hurting and especially if 
you know, we're talking about somebody who has a hard time expressing themselves. This has manifested in a way where the innocence in them has somewhat been taken. And so as they learn to navigate adult relationships, um, I feel like this person, you have triggered them to want an, a healthy re adult relationship, but it's, it's very challenging for somebody who may have been stuck eight years old, nine years old, you know, that is when they lost their sort of sense of creativity and fun and inspiration and had to be um, grown before their time, had to be, uh, you know, sort of disciplined before their time. That feels like what you're communicating to. Sometimes you, you may be like, I feel like I'm talking to a child, right? Some some of us may feel like that with our parents. Some of us may feel like that with a lover. I feel like I'm, you are kind of, right? Um, and so I feel like you are connecting to someone who does love you, who is stuck almost in a sense, how does a nine-year-old, you know, sort of express and communicate love, especially in a healthy way, if that is something that has been stifled in them? Let's keep going. You have a very deep message here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aquarius, I mean, mm, Sagittarius, Aries, um, Leo, or a Capricorn, devil. This is what you're getting. A sweet, innocent version of this person who was fun to be around. They're fun loving. And then the part of this person that is unhappy, that feels like they do everything in their power to sabotage um, this relationship you have with them. The devil showing up. This is also, you know, sort of father energy with Saturn, right? The devil, someone strict, someone who um, makes you fearful, right? In a sense, this is somebody, some of you could be afraid to open up to. This is some of you are afraid to like really let this person in your life and take a chance on them. I have the fool at the bottom of the deck. So Taurus, someone does love you, but they have stopped themselves from taking that full leap of faith into your heart and into your life. And I do feel as if there is a battle going on in this person's psyche should I free myself from this, this, this cage or this cage has protected me and I need to stay not expressing myself to Taurus, something like that. Um, let's see what else comes through. Death. Okay. This person has a hard time changing. It's going to be very difficult to change them. Because they're stuck in that devil energy. King of Wands. I feel the will of fortune. Before the year is out. You will have a very important conversation with this person. And this is somebody that feels like they will make the transformation. In order to have a better relationship with you. But not before they sort of kill the ego. Not before they tackle the thing that keeps them sabotaging this relationship, right? Um, some of you, you know, you're a Taurus, you represent the Hierophant, which can be like the therapist, the mentor energy. And so some of you are dealing with somebody who saw that in you, right? And so you have the effect on them that maybe a psychiatrist might have, where a psychiatrist is pointing out to them um, some things just through asking questions, just through asking questions, right? Not even through saying, well, this is how you are and this is what you do. They're asking questions. And so that is a trigger. Things about your personality has triggered this person. And while it could have been healing and therapeutic, they have turned it into something because of, you know, everything they've been through, something that is they need to protect themselves from. So this person wants you to know they love you. They also want you to know they're in the fight of their life for this princess of wands or page of wands energy to transform and become this king of wands. Right. They lost their confidence a long time ago. They lost their sense of uh, expression a long time ago. And I do feel like before the year is out, you're going to see a transformation in this one. But I also feel as if there is something here coming through about um I think they explain it to you when the time is right. You can't go to them and be like, hey, um, I know you got some childhood trauma. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like they respond to that. This is somebody for you right now who may remain a mystery until they are able to break this this chain almost right. Break a, 
uh, something that has been holding them back. I think they do it um, before the year is out. Um, advice message for Taurus, please. Lioness, you've earned all your stripes, okay? So look, you're not the problem in this relationship. Some of you have struggled with, am I the problem? Like, am I the drama? This person definitely is the drama, right? But I do feel as if this is letting you know you've been through a lot, okay? Um, you have gone through a lot, but you've also triumphed time and time again, and you will triumph over this situation right now. Again, you're dealing with somebody who you've done all you can. It's nothing more you can do. It is up to this person to transform the broken child within them in order to have a healthy relationship with you. And it's so interesting in this reading how it wasn't exclusively like a romantic partner because I'm picking up on somebody's parents. I'm picking up on somebody's like uh, older sibling. You know, there's a, there's definitely a lover here who's doing this to you, Taurus. Um, um, but these dynamics feel like they are universal. And so somebody has the opportunity to change. I feel like they will. Okay. That is what I have for you, Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out those details in the description box.